So last week I made a video where I talked about all my grailed servants on the NA server of, of FGO. And since you guys showed a lot of interest in the video, I decided I'll make the JP version this week. Thank you for all the comments and likes on the previous video too. Was fun reading through your guys' grail stories too. And if you have Sabor, uh, feel free to tell me in the comments of this video as well. Now when it comes to the JP side, my grails are a bit more messy. There are some that I do regret, so I might as well briefly address those before I move into talking about the reasons why I grailed all the other ones you will see. So the ones that I regret the most are my level 100 Sieg and my level 90 Phantom. I genuinely dislike both characters and the only reason they got these grails is that I kinda sold out many years ago and made stupid promises. On hindsight, this was definitely not worth the money I got back then and I wish I could undo them. But it is what it is. Not really gonna get into the details more than that. Now another side note is that I actually have a level 90 Grail Astrea as well. But that one isn't a mistake because I still love her a lot. I just gave her more focus on the main NA side of things. So then let's move on to the actual showcase of servants. This time I'll start from the lowest levels first starting with my level 70 Grail Chen Gong. Now this is a very minor thing. It's only one Grail and there really isn't a big reason behind it which will be a theme with a lot of these. When he released many years ago, I really thought he and the way his gameplay worked were awesome and I still do really enjoy it. So for that reason, I gave him one grail to get rid of those bronze borders as a small way to appreciate the gong. And also bonus points because, you know, Wada Arco is still my favorite artist, so, you know, I, I do like his art style as well. Next up, I believe, is my first grailed unit ever, and it's OG Cool Lancer. Back when I got into Fate via the original Stay Night visual novel a long time ago, Ku was my favorite character in that story. And to this day, I still love his character a lot. So this was a very easy decision for me back in like 2017 when I started FGOJP to grail him. I obviously didn't stack him with grails, just gave him two to get a nice golden border for him. I think one of the main reasons I didn't go until like level 100 is that back then, I didn't want to look like one of the people who were grailing him because he was... uh you know, being a great unit, especially among the low stars. So having only given him two grails, it doesn't really make him much stronger at all, but it still shows that I really appreciate him. And if you saw my figurine showcase from a couple of weeks ago, you probably know I also have a badass fig of him too, and it's also my only fig of a guy, so yes indeed, I really like this dude. Now the next one is Yason, again, that's just how I pronounce it, if you want to say Jason, that's fine, but you know, I tried to do the Greek one. And this arguably would have been only briefly mentioned uh, in the mistakes that I covered first. But in this case, it's a bit different. So back when Canis was about to be released, I was so sure that she wasn't going to be anything else than a 5 star character. So I made a stupid bet that if she wasn't an SSR, I was going to grail Yason. And yep, it happened. And I didn't grail him just once, I gave him three grails to make him golden. At least this time I didn't sell out and just owed up to my stupid bet. And the reason I don't even hate this grail nowadays is uh, I've read the Atlantis story now on the NA server and it really made me and a lot of other people appreciate him way more. He got so much character development in that story that I really don't regret this grail anymore. He's a very good boy. The last of the 80 level grails is my Abi Kebron. This might be one of the ones most of my audience nowadays had no idea about. And the reason for it is simple. He was my favorite character in APOC. Obviously, his role in the story wasn't even that considerable. If anything, it was like a side arc. But I still really enjoyed the guy. I also love his cool, unique magecraft of creating golems to fight with. And not to mention, he was really cool in Lost Belt 1, which made me appreciate him even more. And his VA is also one that I love. His calm and collected voice just makes me smile. In addition to Luvia, I also have another level 90 Grail in Astolfo. When I just said Avikebron was my favorite character in APOC, in reality I also love the Stolf, but for different reasons. I'm not gonna lie, I am someone who is into traps and Stolf is a god tier trap. It's more or less as simple as that in this case. I don't have any shame in saying that and I would totally smash the Stolf any day of the week. Now we get to all my level 100 grails and I'll start by talking about Gramps Lee. I already mentioned it in the video last week when I was talking about my grailed Yagyu on NA, but this is mostly another case of my old man fetish. Again, it's just a joke term for it, I still don't see them in a sexual way, just to clarify. Out of all the badass old men in FGO, Lee's assassin variant might just be my favorite one. Everything about him is just perfect to me. I love the humble and realistic design he has too. And whenever someone does the quote-unquote half-worn jacket, it's just instant points for me. 
Having said that, I do like all the other ascensions as well. I'm not even that big into martial arts, but his Bajikuan is super interesting. Overall, one of my all-time favorite servants in all of Fate, for sure. I do wish his uh, role in Lost Bell 3 was a bit more meaningful though. So then I might as well talk about my level 100 Lancer Lee. I had him originally grailed to level 90, but I recently upped him to 100. My love for him is mostly for the same reasons as Assassin, minus the old man part, but in addition to me liking him for being the same guy, I also thought he was cool as hell in Fate Extra. In that game, he is an assassin, but it's the younger version instead of the Gramps version we have in FGO. So already back then I had taken a liking to him, which led me to enjoying the Lancer variant in FGO as well, even before Assassin was even released. So all in all, I love Lee no matter young or old, Lancer or Assassin, or anything in between. Next up, Tamamo Lancer. She is my second grilled servant ever, pretty soon after I grilled Ku. Now for over 3 years, she was only grilled to level 92, because I originally thought every grail gave you 5 levels based on the grails I did for Ku, so being the noob I was back then, I was kinda shocked to see that you needed 5 grails total to go from 90 to 100. And I wasn't really feeling committed enough to use 4 more grails to level 100 her. So she was kind of my noob mistake for many years, until earlier this year I finally decided to go the rest of the way. She does still have one of my favorite summer servant designs, and I also love wet t-shirts. I'm not even that big into animal girls, but fox girls have always been hot to me. I would grill Santa Suzuka if we got her on the mobile version too. Speaking of fox girls, the next level 100 grilled servant is Koyanskaya of Light. Ever since the prologue to Lost Build 1 dropped on JP many many years ago and we saw Koyanskaya for the first time, I immediately fell in love with her design and her sadistic personality. On that day, my wait for her release began. Sadly, it took over 4 years for her to be released as a summonable variant, but I was still dead set on rolling and grailing her, which I did. I would have done it even if she wasn't a meta-defining servant, just because of how hot she is. Another level 100 grail that I did this year is Super Bunyan. A lot of people didn't like her event because it was the collab event for this year and they wanted something else. I'm still very happy it happened because we got her out of it. And this is an easy one for me to explain. I just love her design. Last week I said Jinako is someone I'd consider an ideal looking partner, but I could say the same about Super Bunyan. I just love the design. Casual clothes are always my favorite when it comes to, you know, outfits for the waifus. And to top it all off, she has blonde hair and wears glasses too. Top tier stuff for me, needless to say. Not to mention it's fun as hell to Bunyan smash the crap out of someone. This is a big one. Ashia Doman. Oh, how I love this guy. It's one of the cases where you either hate or love the character. Personally, I think he's a great antagonist in FGO, probably one of the best. Whenever he shows up in a story, I become more engaged with it. And once again, I adore his design. It helps that he's also drawn by the same artist who designed Yagyu as well, one of my other favorites. His design is a great mix of cool, unique, and sexy. And to top it all off, he shares the same amazing voice as one of my favorite villains of all time in fiction. Say me. Save I just can't help but love this man. And last but definitely not least, Summer Anastasia. Most people watching my channel know about my complicated relationship when it comes to the Grand Duchess. I've always been on the fence about how much I like her, and before the Summer version was released, I had stated that if she ever gets a very nice looking Summer variant, I might finally give in. And that's exactly what happened last year. It also helps that because she seems to enjoy showing up to me, getting her to MP5 didn't prove to be very difficult at all as a bonus. And who knows, maybe I'll uh, end up giving in to her caster side too. You never know what the future holds. So there you go, those are all my grilled servants on the JP side of FGO. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, press the like button as these require quite a bit of effort to make, so I would really appreciate that. Also, do tell me about your grail stories again in the comments of this video and remember to subscribe not to miss out on any other fun future videos that I post weekly. With that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and peace out.